Hello and welcome inside the Chris Evans Podcast. It is week 10 of the high school football season and it is time to look at some Class 5A playoff scenarios. There are a few games that we can almost put in bold for this week, but uh, we'll see how the games play out on the field. A reminder, check out the High School Huddle. It's a Wednesday night show. We discuss high school football from 6A football all the way down to a, a Class A football. We talk about stuff on and off the field. We have our top 10 games of the week. We have our top five rankings. It's a fun show. It's an interactive show. You put your questions and comments in there, and uh, we simply talk high school football on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. We take a look at Class 5A today, and we'll go by each district. We'll start with 5A1. The games to pay attention to this week is Bishop McGinnis at Lot MacArthur and Midwest City at Duncan. We do know in 5A1, the Newcastle Racers, first year in Class 5A football, they are the district champions. They had a key victory a couple weeks ago against Lot MacArthur, secured the deal in Week 9, and so now Week 10, they're just getting ready for the playoffs. Uh, but uh, second place uh, could be either Lot MacArthur or Bishop McGinnis. Uh, Lot MacArthur uh, with the victory um, over Bishop McGinnis, they are the second place team. Now, McGinnis is second with a six-point win or a win and Midwest City loss against Duncan. Duncan can still make the playoffs. If you're Duncan, Duncan's at Midwest City. You need to be, You got to beat the Midwest City Bombers, and you got to have uh, Bishop McGinnis win. That's how Duncan gets in. Uh, but McGinnis, they can finish second. They can finish third. They can finish fourth. Uh, Midwest City clinches a playoff berth and, with a win or McGinnis loss. Duncan, as I mentioned, they qualify with a win and a Bishop McGinnis win. We'll kind of go what I think might happen and how they line up in the playoff scenarios here in just a little bit. But first, let's get to District 5A2. Carl Albert last week defeated Guthrie 29-0. Carl Albert is the district champions, the two-time defending state champions. Uh, so we know Carl Albert is in the one spot. Then the two and three spot will be sided in Guthrie with Lawton, freshly down from 6A2 football, takes on the Guthrie Blue Jays. The winner of the game is second. The loser of the game has to go on the road for the playoffs as they would finish third. Noble has the inside path for that four spot. Noble qual qualifies with the four spot with a win over John Marshall, who has not won a game this year, or if Althus loses to Carl Albert. Carl Albert had a heavy, heavy, heavy favorite in that game. So both scenarios heavily weigh in Noble's favor. So Carl Albert won. Guthrie or Lawton, two or three, and Noble, the four spot in 5A2, barring some of the biggest upsets perhaps ever. Uh, 5A3 football. Booker T. Washington is the champion, and McAllister is the runner-up. The Buffaloes are second. They had a close game last week with Durant. They have, Sh uh, they have Shawnee this week on the road, and Sh uh, McAllister was out head coach for us, Maisie, uh, last week. Looks like he will not be with the team again this week. More on that on the high school huddle Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. But Booker T. Washington won. McAllister second. From there, Bishop Kelly and Shawnee, they're in the playoffs. It's just what order will they finish? Kelly, uh, by the way, uh, uh, Kelly, Bishop Kelly is at Durant. Uh, if Bishop Kelly and Shawnee are the, uh, if Kelly finishes third, they do with a win over Durant or a Shawnee loss against McAllister. So Kelly and, and uh, Shawnee fighting for that spot. Coach Madonna with Shawnee has done a great job as the Shawnee Wolves are in the playoffs. And then the fourth district, you look at the prior Tigers. Boy, everyone knew Dell City was there. Dell City 6-0 in district play. Prior 5-1 in district play. The winner of that game, they are the district champions. The loser of that game is second place. So for Pryor to have a chance to win a district title week 10, that's all you can ask for against the number two team in Class 5A football. Claremore, they're third. They, they are locked and ready to go. Collinsville, they play Toss Memorial. If they win that game, they finish fourth. Uh, and Collinsville will beat Memorial, barring some of the biggest upset ever. So Collinsville is fourth. Tahlequah, they can qualify if they beat Hale and Collinsville loss. So Tahlequah needs a big miracle for them to for that to happen. So when you look at this playoff scenarios, what could happen in first week in 5A football, 
You can almost put it in bold. Noble will be at Newcastle for a first-round matchup. Then you have possibility of uh, Kelly or Sean E. I would think I would I would assume Kelly would be on the road taking on Pryor, assuming Dell City were to win that game. Uh, you could have Midwest City or McGinnis going to Guthrie or Lawton. Uh, you can have Bishop McGinnis, Midwest City, or Duncan going to Carl Albert. We do know this first-round matchup for sure. We do know Claremore will go on the road and play McAllister in the first round, which is a big-time first-round matchup. Uh, McAllister are going to finish second in their district. Claremore is going to finish third, but they have to go on the road. Claremore coming off a state semifinal uh, a year ago. Big-time ball game. Um, I, I think you know, if Dell City wins the district and Shawnee finishes fourth, you would have Shawnee at Dell City. And then you could have Guthrie. If Guthrie were to lose the, their game against Lawton, you could have Guthrie going to Lawton MacArthur. Or if Guthrie were, were to beat Lawton, you would have possibility of Lawton going to Lawton MacArthur. Or, you know, Bishop McGinnis wants to finish that second spot. You could have Lawton or Guthrie going to Bishop McGinnis. So, a lot of scenarios. Those are the scenarios for Class 5A football. We're going to dive into these and a whole lot more on our Wednesday night show called The High School Huddle. You can find it on our YouTube channel, Second Banana Media. Subscribe, like, and uh, be notified. If you're on Facebook, you can simply search High School Huddle, and we are there as well. So, a lot of fun things happening here in Week 10 of the football season. We'll have playoff brackets this weekend. So until then, best of luck to your team this week.